Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks Video Tutorial Part 10. In this uh, tutorial, I am going to talk about how to find uh, various uh, paths associated with the database from the backup image only. So, a database contains like SMS tablespace, DMS tablespace, automatic uh, uh, storage. So, all the path information associated with the database, how to find them from the backup image only without restoring the actual image. The solution is very simple we can use the backup verification tool itself to uh, get this information the command is db2 ck bkp hyphen uppercase s followed by the image name for getting the storage group uh, or the storage path informations and db2 ck bkp hyphen uppercase t followed by the image name for the table space uh, level uh, path informations now backup verification will be done when you use these options you can use the hyphen lowercase small s or lowercase uh, t for uh, getting the same information as their equivalent uh, things uh, but it will be done with verification backup image will be verified when it is when you are using the lowercase options you cannot get any high watermark information using the verification tool let's uh, quickly look at few examples okay, i have actually already created a uh, copied a few images here actually for our so we are we'll look at the test db okay so that is the uh, thing we will use the command is straightforward db2 ck bkp hyphen uppercase s the image name test db dot zero dot dot zero zero one the image name okay so we have given that so we can see here the storage group information is dumped and uh, no verification is performed and this is like a windows uh, database image uh, even though it is a windows it's still uh, since it is only actually it's not doing the restore so it's still able to get the uh, uh, high level information for us the requested information is only like a path information we are requesting right so it's able to give that and uh, we can see that it contains two storage groups storage with storage group id 0 this is storage group id 0 the name is ibm store group and uh, this contains one storage path which is e drive and there is another storage group id 1 with storage group name fast hdd like fast hard disk drive and it contains two storage paths fast hdd 2 and e colon fast hdd 2 and e colon fast hdd 1 so this is the uh, storage uh, group information we can also get uh, table space level information for the same uh, database the command is db2 ckbkp hyphen capital t the image name so here we can see table space details are dumped and no verification is performed and let's just look at what are all the table spaces that are available in that image so you can find that syscat space with table id 0 extent uh, table space id 0 the extent size is 4 the prefetch size is 4 and uh, the number of containers is 1 okay and uh, the page size of the table space is 4k 4096 and uh, it belongs to storage group id 0 which is the ibm uh, store group default store group and uh, the path information is also there the container level uh, total pages and usable pages is also there the table space level total pages and usable pages is also there okay so, and similarly for all the table spaces it uh, pretty much uh, lists the same information you can get all the path information the page size information th which storage group it belongs so all uh, the information are uh, available here uh, let's look at like say this database has a sms table space as, as well so my sms is an sms table space id is 4 okay number of containers is 2 okay page size is 4k and the container level information is also available e colon sms1 e colon sms2 two containers are there similarly there is a dms uh, which i have created so the dms information is also available it has two containers e dms1 e dms2 dms dbf and the total pages is 200 200 so total is 400 uh, pages at a table space level okay at a container level it is 200 pages each so all this information is pretty straightforward there is also a fast space table space uh, again it is using look at the storage group id it is one here so that is the important thing so along with the table space it gives which storage group it belongs and if it is a dms table space the storage group like say here it is my dms 
you will find that the storage group is minus 1 which means it is not associated with any storage group uh, because DMS is not associated right so only the automatic storage uh, table spaces are associated so that is the reason okay and and we can also uh, use this on a 9.7.4 database like testdb is a 10.1 version okay if you look at uh, i have uh, a particular image like db2 hyphen uh, ckbkb hyphen s load db this is actually a uh, 9.7 uh, database uh, backup image so even i am running that actually and it is able to give the output uh, what are all the storage uh, group in, in uh, inside that so it is ibm store group with store group id 0 and this sto number of storage path is 1 and it is e drive and this is the default one it gives actually in 9.7 the storage group concept is not there but when you do the actual restore using that image in 10.1 uh, it will uh, uh, collect that particular uh, it will create a default uh, storage path so it is showing that as well uh, pretty much this functionality is straightforward. We can use the IFNS and IFNT without restoring to get all the table space level and storage group level uh, path information uh, before uh, doing the actual restore. Okay, thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel DB2 LUW Academy. Thanks so much. See you in next video. Bye bye.